What is going on you guys, it's Aviation 4A4 here and I'm back with another awesome model review. This is the Gemini Jets Alaska Airlines Embraer ERJ175 in the honoring those who serve livery. Now this is a model that I've been wanting for a long time actually. It's, uh, I can't, I, when, I don't remember when the last time Gemini Jets released that uh, honoring those who serve 737-900ER or 900. Um, I think that was 2016 or 2017, but I was kind of, I was kind of, I was a bit like, you know, you know, like, oh man, I missed it, but, you know, let's see what happens in the future. So yeah, uh, I'm very excited for this model, um, it's just such a nice livery. So I'll just show you the back, as usual, same as normal stuff. I think the past models was NG and Gem uh, JC Wings, so yeah. I don't know, guys, I uh, just want to say for now, Gemini Jets models, um, because of NG and JC Wings and all that, I'm kind of losing interest in getting Gemini Jets models. It's not that because their models are just going, not their quality, not just because their quality is going down, but it's just because their boxes are so boring to look at now. Like the other boxes, they're like very interesting or something, but you know, the Gemini Jets boxes are the same stuff. Uh, I like the f fact that it's... Got a, it's, it has this flap, you know, just to check out the model and stuff, but you know, it's like just because I, when I stack the boxes up, it's the same thing, you know, so it's not unique and it's just, you know, of course, when I collect these models, I also collect the boxes, but I do my best to preserve them and yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's something I'm kind of losing interest in, so I'm just, and also I do want to save some money now, so I'm just getting the models that from like real like models i really need or from or from like not the like not that i need but the models i like because you know yeah so there you go so uh that's just the little dealio here um so something yeah it's that's just what's going to be happening because the engine mo models they're like pretty much worth the money despite the jet blue um, but you know, most of the time they're wor worth the money. JC Wings, it's very interesting. Now this model actually, it, it came a lot sm I, th I, th I thought it was bigger. Honestly, you can see the size of it by my finger. And I'll compare the two. This is a 195 JetBlue blueprint. Yeah, it's pretty small. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I can compare this best here yeah so the engines are a lot smaller the, than the ERG 195s and uh, that, that, that actually I just noticed and now this is a classic 737 uh, so hmm. maybe around the same size maybe this looks longer than that actually but this looks skinnier than the United so yeah I'll get this guy out of the way i call these the twin this is the twins um yeah i call i call those two united's the twins because my twin uh the twins because they're like the same thing but like different a little bit different liveries if you guys go check uh if you guys probably seen that video i uploaded a while back but yeah so here we have the copper windows windshield wipers nose cone i think it says alaska airlines Wait, I just want to quickly read this. If you, oh, oops, sorry about that. If you guys hear that stuff in the background, that's a garbage truck coming by. All right, so yeah, I can't read that, sorry. Uh, but it probably says Alaska Airlines honors those who serve, or honors our veterans or something like that, uh, which is really nice. Um, yeah, honoring those who serve, um, very respectable. Um, it's an awesome model. Uh, it's a, it's really nice. Uh, then we have these really really tiny engines. Um, I'm actually quite surprised how tiny these engines are. If you like in person, it's a lot smaller than you would see in a video. You know, you know, it, it, a video can only tell you so much. You know, but when you actually get the real thing, it's just it, it's actually really nice. Alaska titles. I'm not sure what that statement says, but it's really cool. Registration, November 651, Quebec X-ray, American flag, then we have the very nice coloring and everything, it's really cool. 
I really love these winglets. It's got the American flag on it. It looks really cool. That's actually something I think Virgin America used to do. But that was like their normal livery. They're gone now, actually. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, I forgot our Virgin America was merged into Alaska. But I think back in April 2018, so yeah. Then we have the then we have Chester. Um he's uh light blue. Um, yep. Then we have the uh, APU oh sorry, APU exhaust. Um yeah, Chester is looking a little uh blue today. Sorry. Why do I keep doing that? Alright, so then we have the APU, not APU, but uh, what, what are these? Uh, cargo doors? Sorry about that. I, it's like very simple, but I just forget it. Uh, then there should be a green navigation light there. So yes, this model does have that wing problem, wing flex issue. It's too tilted. Uh, Maybe nearly 30 degrees, uh, maybe less. I could be, uh, or yeah, I, I yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's got that problem. But this problem actually really doesn't bother me. Um, the only stuff that, if like if this wing was completely higher, if this wing was like bent or something or completely higher, what for example, that would bother me. But if they're like the same, then it shouldn't be a big deal. Oh yeah, and then I'll just show you the top and bottom. Now this is a really tiny model, so I'm not sure how the focus will, how good the focus will be, but we'll do our best here. All right, oh, it's actually focusing quite nicely. Uh, then we have some antennas, not antennas, but like some markings, red anti-collision light. Those could be the tiny beacon lights due to the fact that this plane is really tiny. Then we, inside they had the American flag, red anti, red, wing light, uh, some f nice um, flap slats, aileron spoilers, um, no step markings, um, red anti-collision light. I think those could be, there are fuel, fuel, uh, uh, there could be fuel dump valves, uh, not these, uh, those are, those are the, oh man, I forgot what the, the tape, no, those are like one of the flaps. Oh, those slats, sorry. Uh, then we had the tail, uh, tail fin, the tail. Then, um, stabilizers. Then we have, sorry, I'm shaking a lot. Uh, main gear, main, no, sorry, nose gear, nose gear doors, some nice, there's a lot of detailing here. Uh, that with those markings, very nice, color, blue and stuff. Uh, main gear, main gear door or holes, uh, gigantic stand hole, literally the same size as those, the, the gear sockets, which is really hilarious to see. Uh, very, wings, very nice band on the engines, Gemini Jets logo. I think that's a tail skid. I, that, I don't know what that is, but that's a tail skid, maybe. And then I don't think you can see, but I think that could be, no, that's not. Sorry, that's not the no main gear. Oh, sorry, uh, do door, the APU doors. All right, guys, that should be uh, it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Put in, put in the comments below what you think of this model. I think it's a really cool model. I would recommend it. I'm not sure if it's sold out now, but it's a really nice model. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you're new. Put in the comments below what you think of this model. Put in the comments below. I would recommend it if you're gonna get it. Um, but yeah, uh, honoring those who serve. Very nice, respectable livery. And yeah, I, it's it's really nice to have it. My, uh, I'm really glad I have it in my collection. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.